It's a fact that today uh, Europe does not have this capacity. It is also a fact that if corresponding decisions are taken at the end of the year, Europe will have it tomorrow. And in fact, uh, at ESA, we had already a technology demonstration of a re-entry uh, on Earth, which uh, took place a few years ago in an experimental vehicle called IXV. And based on this experience, which was highly successful and launched by Vega, by the way, uh, we are now developing Space Rider. During uh, low Earth orbit operation in microgravity, the vehicle can uh, turn, uh, maneuver according to the mission it has. And then, at the moment in time you start the re-entry on Earth, in fact, you have a dedicated angle of attack. You start to enter into the atmosphere. And this is what we call a lifting body, meaning there are no, uh, no plane type of structures. It's just uh, the body which has a certain angle of attack, enters into the upper parts of the atmosphere at high speed. We call it hypersonic. And then the speed is decreased through the drag. And when it starts to become subsonic, uh, you have lowered significantly the, the speed and once you have reached a certain level you can deploy a parafoil and once with the parafoil deployed you can have a precision landing on the runway somewhere in Europe. We do a call for opportunities and we will have uh, different flight opportunities uh, planned uh, for example uh, in microgravity research so if you are coming from a university that's for sure uh, an opportunity like uh, in uh, material sciences or pharmaceutical uh, field biological field at large scale second we will work on commercial opportunities and here we have already quite good exchanges uh, again with the pharmaceutical industry and we will look for further uh, in-orbit validation and demonstration uh, of technologies which have to be tested and qualified in space before they go on big and costly missions.